Okay, so today we're going to look at mapping artwork on a 3D object without showing that 3D object. In this particular case, we're going to look at putting stripes on a sphere without showing the sphere itself. So a couple things we have to do, we're going to have to make a sphere and we're going to have to make uh, some lines. So let's go ahead and the first thing we'll do is let's start out making the lines. So let's go ahead and use the rectangle tool and something like that. We'll make ours blue today. I like the example that's red. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold down the Alt key and pull straight down as close as I can get. And then I'm going to duplicate that by Control D several times. And obviously I can see I didn't pull it straight down, but eh, this will work. All right, next thing we want to do is we're going to place these at an angle. And there's two different ways to do that. One, we can use the direct selection tool, A, and go ahead and highlight them and then using the shift key I'm going to I can pull that up just like that so that's one way we can get them in an angle I'm going to control Z and undo that another way would be to use the shear tool and that is with the scale and the reshape tool but if I just double click the shear tool It'll tell me, hey, what angle? We'll go at 7 degrees and click OK. And let's try that again. Seven degrees. There we go. Okay. Weird. Anyway, that's what we want well, so far. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to crop out these so it's going to be in a perfect rectangle. So we're going to go ahead and draw a rectangle starting at the, let's see, the lowest point at the top. And we'll go to the, without going over. Okay, so something like that. I'm going to move this over. No, do that. Make a box. There we go. So something like that. And I'll change the color just so we can see it a little easier. And it looks like I've kind of I'll move that up a little bit. There we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna crop the blue lines that are within this triangle or this rectangle. So I'm gonna select both of them and I'm gonna pull up my pathfinder. There it is. And I'm just going to click on the crop icon. There you go. So the only thing that was in the, whatever was in, of course, the rectangle is what we see now. I'm going to take this and move it. Let's try it again. I'm gonna, ooh, struggling here. Bring it back. I really can't grab it today. There we go. Pull it in here. I'm going to change it to a graphic and call it blue stripes. Okay. And it's in here, so I can go ahead and delete that. And I pull it back in. There it is. I'm delete it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is make our sphere. So we've got to start out with a perfect circle. So I'm going to hold down Shift while I make the ellipse. There we go. And to make a circle, I have to cut this, or a sphere, I have to cut this circle in half. And I'm going to go ahead and use the scissors tool, and it's with the eraser. And if I go to the top here and click on that little red dot, and then go to the bottom, click on that handle, I have cut it in two, and I can kind of tell over here that's what I did. When I go to the selection tool, I can just pull out one, and I'll get rid of that. And let's see here. We'll select this and we'll go up to Effects, 3D, Revolve. I'll move it over so we can see it. And I'm going to click on Preview. Okay. And then go to Map Art. And scroll down and find my blue stripes. There they are. I'm going to scale to fit. And I'm going to shade the artwork. 
And to make the ball disappear, or the sphere, I'm going to click Invisible. And in here we can see that we can see around both edges. Now I can see over here they don't really line up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my map art box here. I'm going to just kind of turn it, and that looks a lot better. So they line up on the back side. And click OK, and I can move it. You can see we've lined them up pretty well. And that's how you map the art.